using my botanical herb deck from Mountain Rose Herbs. Botanical drawing. This deck has scientific information about plants. So let's see what's our herb for the day. I'm gonna spread them out. And pick randomly. Okay. Oh, my favorite. Comfrey. Symphytum officinal. My favorite herb. Absolutely favorite. It's a perennial. It will come up every year. Really good rootstock. Big. This plant will grow big if you have good soil. You will know if your soil is not healthy because the leaves will not look smooth. They might be like uh, eaten, have holes in them. It will get purple to white flowers. My teapot is going to go off. So this herb is called the bone knit herb. It will knit bones. It's an amazing herb. The FDA made it not legal to put into internal formulas. But this has been used for thousands of years that way and also a valuable food stock or fodder, um, herb, herbal medicine for animals. So a lot of Amish farms, Mennonite farms in the area where I live grow comfrey and they use it for their animals. So at this point in time, we can use comfrey topically, and there's many ways to use comfrey topically. Soaking, ointments, um, even making a tincture to apply topically. Because of the valuable benefits in comfrey, the healing will go much faster. It has like a speed healing chemical, and I forgot what it's called at the moment, but this herb heals faster than anything I've ever seen topically. So bone, uh, Dr. Christopher said bone, cartilage, skin, muscle, perfect for comfrey. If you want to know more about comfrey in detail, I would purchase old books. Some of those books are Dr. Christopher's School of Natural Healing, uh, Mrs. Greaves books, volume one and two. Rosemary Gladstar loves comfrey, her books. 